I mentioned in my last video, which was triggered by this video by Peter, that if we change the ratio of, and I'm creating a torus here and using the options, section to slices, you get different results. So I'm going to give it 16 sections and 12 slices and create a different shape that isn't a torus knot, but is sort of knotted together in an interesting way, I think. Anyway, I'll just show you how it's done and then you can draw your own conclusions. So section 16, slices 12, OK. As before, select the entire object, go to face mode, right click and inset an arbitrary amount, it doesn't matter. Right click again and collapse those, switch to edge mode, go to select, inverse, hit delete and end up with this result. Select any one of these edges and press G and then go to face mode and you can see the start of a torus knot here. It loops around but in a different way. So it's another kind of knot. So I'm going to exploit the fact that it's symmetrical and runs in both directions by creating a set of interconnected knots. So right click and shell extrude while holding the control key down, normal and take it out 0.1. Then right click and shell extrude again, holding the control key down, normal and take it out 0.2. Right click again, shell extrude, normal and take it out 0.1 again. Space to deselect. Go back to the torus, select one of these edges but running in the opposite direction. Press G. Go to face mode, right click and shell extrude, normal, take it out 0.2. Then right click again, shell extrude, normal, take it out 0.1. Right click again, shell extrude, take it out 0.2. Right click again, shell extrude, take it out 0.1. So now you can see we've got these running in different directions. Space to deselect, select entire item, find the torus we started with and the, the 0.1 that was extruded out the second time. So that's that bit there and just delete those. So you're left with these two sections that go 0.1, 0.2, 0.1, 0.1, 0 0.2, 0.1. Select the outer two in both cases and using the geometry graph just hide those two so they can't be seen. It'll just make it easier to work on. Right, you need to find a section where you can see easily where we've got in the intersections because we're going to use some selection modes now. So go to edge mode and select one edge here that's back from an intersection and another edge on top that's one back from that and then repeat the process for the other side. So one back from the intersection there and one on top and then go to select and select every edge loop, every nth ring, nth enter the value 4, OK, alpha loop, switch to face mode and then go select, inverse and hit delete for those faces. Space to deselect everything, unhide the other two bits, select everything, go to the entire object mode, right click and weld and you should find there's quite a lot of welding goes on. Space to deselect, Right, what I want to do is select these outer edges, one, two, three, four, loop, and there should be four more to select on the other side, one, two, loop there, and another one or two hidden in here, so it's just a matter of getting to a point where you can select them. So these are just on the outside, and this is just for tidying the model up and making it look nice when... So I've got all those edges selected now that are on the outside of those shapes right click and bevel and it'll only bevel very slightly but it will bevel a bit you can see it's 0 0.0012 accept that select the entire thing go S for smooth and S for smooth again in fact I might even do it once more it'll make the model rather heavy mesh wise but it will make it uh, a good resolution. Right at the moment you can see we've only got one object but in actual fact there's two intertwined objects here so right click and separate so we can separate them out from one another it'll take a little while for it to process and there you go one's selected and one isn't so you can see quite clearly now how these two things 
are interwoven not only with themselves but with each other and uh, I've for sort of chop some holes through so that they can uh, pass through one another and link together at the same time. So I thought that was a, an interesting shape. It's not exactly a torus knot, I know, but uh, it sort of stems from what I saw in that video and then how I tried to interpret it in wings. And the different ratios when you create the torus create different results. And I thought I'd uh, thought I'd show you that because it was uh, it was a rather pleasing looking shape that you end up with. Okay then, hope you found that interesting. Cheers now.